Hey guys, how's it going? Onage here, and welcome then to my 700 subscribers Q&A video. In this video, I'll be answering your questions that you have asked me during my announcement, uh, or the, you know, the Q&A announcement. One thing to mention before we start is that I'm recording this on the 1st of January uh, in 2014. So if you haven't posted your question uh, right now, then your question won't be in the video. I'm sorry for that. If you still have uh, had a question after I, you know, finish the recording, I will, you know, answer your questions in the comment section itself so not in this video let's just jump straight into it and here we go then first question this question comes from T3 Kiveni uh, sorry I will be pronouncing a lot of names this video probably wrong uh, I have no idea how to pronounce these things in, uh, in in English language but anyway he asked me you still horny and how tall are you now the first question might seem a little bit awkward uh, the answer is uh, uh no and how tall am i i am quite short actually compared to the other people uh from my age so uh, 16 years old um, yes i'm 16 years old um i'm quite short compared to them uh, one of the shortest i am 169 centimeters and that comes down to five feet uh or about six and a half inches so there you go and then the next question comes from Jarvis01 Racing. He asked me, how did you start sim racing? Um, how did I start sim racing? That's a very good question. Uh, I actually don't know myself. It must have been... Um, if you really take sim racing as... Uh, with a professional steering wheel and... No, not real professional, but with a good steering wheel and stuff like that, I think about at the time when f1 2010 launched so i think about three or four years ago uh, really sim racing because uh, before that i already did m much more racing but not really sim racing i think i jumped into that a little bit with f1 2010 uh, when i played r factor i've played a lot of r factor when i was young uh, actually then it i think it comes down to about five years then because i've played r factor before f1 2010 uh, and r, r factor is a really good sim uh, so mm, about five years um, and I started with R Factor then do you do real life racing yes I do uh, I do karting sometimes um, not a lot though um, and yeah it's basically just for fun and uh, with a few friends sometimes um, you're probably wondering if I'm quick or whatever like that uh, I don't know if I'm really quick I'm not going to say for myself that I'm the quickest man on earth or anything but I once was like at the top of the fastest drivers of the month so yeah I think that's not bad but not really good either and then next one what gear does your setup include uh, so I have a G27 and I have a play seat that's pretty much it um, uh, the play seat it's pretty much like a GD Omega seat uh, if you know that uh, it pretty much has the same base uh, except for a few things uh, it's yeah it's a bit ripped off uh, some parts of have been ripped off it's just the base you have a seat and you have a holder for your sh uh, shifter your pedals and your wheel that's basically it uh, but I will be buying the GD Omega Supreme seat I have already bought it actually and it will ar arrive probably in February and then I will uh, you know also race with uh, triple monitor setup so three monitors uh, as for a computer I have quite a new computer um, it does need a new uh, video card probably or a GPU however you want to call it um, before I you know run three monitors because that's probably not going to handle it I have a 24 inch monitor um, and that's basically it um, then what is your favorite car and Dragon F1 now my favorite car I don't know really what you mean by that if you mean the favorite team uh, I guess you just mean your favorite car um, very good question I have to say I think Ferrari uh, from 2004 it was very dominant um, and in my opinion it's one of the fastest cars ever made uh, then in terms of sound there is another Ferrari it's called the Ferrari 412 uh, T2 or something like that um, which has the best sound ever in the world it has a big V12 engine and I think it's just absolutely awesome and my favorite track Silverstone Alex Gillen asked me how many penises I have one then a uh, very good question from this guy, uh, he's called James Kian, thank you for this question. He asked me, who do you think will win the ARL this season and the real F1 season once it starts up again in March? Also, do a query mode, okay. Um, 
who do you think will win the ARLs uh, this season? So, people who are following my league races with ARL, um, they will probably know me that I'm right now in the lead. But, trust me, I have been in this situation a couple of times before. And there's no need to, you know, be happy about it or anything. Uh, because the season is not over. It doesn't matter. It, it does matter if you, uh, you know, are in the lead after three races. Um, it's better to be in the lead at the final race. That's it. Um, that That's where it is about I mean uh, I can be you know in the lead for every single race and then lose it in the final one uh, I, I prefer you know being in the lead in the final race but that's not really an answer to your question uh, the answer to your question uh, is very hard to say uh, I think there are some competitive people right there uh, out there in the ARL uh, the season is definitely not over only a couple of races have finished there you know pretty much anything can still happen and the luck has to be on your side um, you can just get disconnected and then you know you're you're pretty much yeah you get no points um i think alex Yellen is obviously as always uh, a good title contender but i definitely think that there's a new guy who is called grunu uh, he hasn't got that mon many points so far but give him some time and trust me he will come up and uh, be there in a with, with the top drivers i definitely think that he has a very good pace he has uh, such a a great you know how to uh, say this uh, his natural pace um yeah i think that's the word his natural pace is so strong like it's just like hamilton yes he he's also like su such a talented guy and i think it's the same story with Cornu. so if he could you know come into play really quick uh i think he could be a title contender as well as alex gillen then and then there's obviously me but i'm not going to to say that I will be the winner of the of the championship. I, I think that that's that's just not right to say, and I I don't like saying that. Uh, so I cannot really answer your question that well. Um, I think it's going to be close with uh, me, Alex, and Grunu because that's pretty much the top three. I think if the first guys, so the Fat first and Jack first guys, if they you know they have also quite a good pace, but I don't see them yet as a title contender. Maybe next season. Then real life F1, uh, who will win the 2014 season, um, I, I, I have no idea, um, I think it will be a completely different season, uh, to be honest I think it will be a season of shit, um, because uh, I don't like the V6 turbo engines, I think F1 should be more about the V10, V12 big engines, uh, I, don't, I just don't like it, I think F1 is heading step in the wrong direction and I've been thinking that already since uh, the year 2009 um, I don't know how the drivers will cope with the uh, with the change of, of cars and regulations next year I don't know how the teams will cope with it um, I think Ferrari will be strong they have a new wind tunnel obviously and they have Raikkonen and Alonso who are both very quick. Uh, I think Alonso is the best driver on the grid. He is he is like the the, the package uh, that you want. Uh, he is intelligent. He is quite quick, but he he just knows what he's doing. Um, that's just basically it. Also, Raikkonen is obviously really quick, but for some reason, I think Alonso is is more like a complete package compared to Raikkonen. So I think Alonso has a good chance. Also, Hamilton has, because Hamilton is I think the quickest guy on the grid um, he has such a great pace but I think Alonso is, has more like that baggage um, than Vettel I have no idea what he is going to do it's pretty much unpredictable with the with the regulation changes um, I'm going to say Alonso then next up is I Sam Samu Singh uh, sorry I Sam Singh something like that um, he asked me a few questions uh what is uh your first racing game what are your favorite games is there any chance to show us some techniques that make you so fast like a driving school video all oh, right so the first question what is your first racing games um my first ever race game i don't know uh, i simply was too young i remember playing um gran turismo on my playstation i remember f1 challenge which was basically one of the best games I've ever played F1 Challenge 9902 uh, 992002 uh, I remember that I've played that so many times or so so much um, it was really one of the best games in that time uh, in terms of you know you know racing games um, my first ever racing game it probably could be Colin McRae uh, 
you know the rally so I, I think I'm going to keep it at that at the PlayStation um, or it might have been something for the Nintendo 64 I'm not sure. I f I f I'm going to keep it at Colin McRae, the rally, um, and I'm obviously 16 years old, so I was quite young, I think, back then. Uh, I had a PlayStation 2, uh, which I was playing. It could be quite possible that uh, I actually played a different game first, but I cannot really remember it. I don't have a, such a great memory, so sorry. Um, but I have played a lot of uh, Gran Turismo, and... Um, F1 Challenge 99 2002. I don't know which version of Gran Turismo, probably Gran Turismo 5 or 4 or 3 or something like that. I cannot remember. Um, uh, Gran Turismo that came out for the PlayStation 2. Alright, next question. What are your favorite games? So, my favorite games nowadays, um, obviously F1 2030. It's a, it's a good game. Uh, it's not really that realistic, but I just enjoy playing it. That's basically it. It's not really realistic, but I enjoy playing it. Then we have Assetto Corsa, which is the best simulator I have ever played. Uh, it is really, really good. Um, so, that's definitely on the top. Then we have, as well, a game called Team Fortress 2, which I play sometimes. Um, not really that much but definitely sometimes Battlefield 3 is uh, also a very good game which I play um, not a lot but uh, I have played that quite a bit in the you know in the let's say last year and we have also Minecraft yes I play Minecraft uh, but that's usually with uh, with a few friends uh, I sometimes play Payday 2 and um, San Andreas multiplayer so you know GDA San Andreas multiplayer. I have no console, so no PlayStation or Xbox or anything. So I cannot play GTA 5 yet. I do have GTA uh, 4, which I sometimes play on the PC, but not a lot. Uh, I play San Andreas multiplayer more on a few f servers. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, when GTA 5 comes out for the PC, I'll be definitely playing that because it's a great game. I play it sometimes with uh, with a friend who has the game. Um, but yeah, th those are pretty much the games I am. Um, yeah, playing. Oh yeah, and don't forget iRacing. That's obviously a game which I also like, enjoy playing. It's also a great sim. The next question, is there any chance to show us some of the techniques that make you fast? Well, I would like to, you know, teach you guys how to get fast because I, I, I really like, you know, helping you. Um, but I think the best help is just to practice for yourself and maybe compare your lap times against fast people um, and compare the lines you're taking, the, the speed you're taking into a corner. Um, I would like to do something like a racing school or a driving school, um, but I don't know if there's really such a high demand for it. If there's a high demand, I'm probably going to make it, but I think it's not really worth it because I think the attention drops away from it a little bit uh, after a couple of videos. Um, I'm not sure um, if you have any ideas about that. I think just leave them down below and maybe I'll, uh, I'll do something with it. So thanks for your questions. Then next up, Jack Reaper, uh, he has some questions. Um, one, do you take it in the shitter? No. Two, would you rather be killed by being dropped in a bath of acid or eaten to death by five million swarming ants? Uh, I would rather be eaten to death by five million swarming ants. Um, because I think then, you know, they, they can live with, with what, you know, with what I have, uh, with what th if the, with the things they they eaten from me. Otherwise, you would just drop me in a bowl of acid, and pretty much nothing would happen. Uh, but now there are some ants who who are happy uh, to have fruit from me. Uh, then the third question: If you were in prison and they knew every day was going to be war, would you let the gangs rape you but have an easy life for 23 hours every day, or would you fight every day? Never having a minute of, ma never having a minute peace. Um, I would fight every day. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, sit down and do nothing. Uh, that's not the person how I am. I want to do something about it. So I would fight every day, and maybe, uh, you know, once you you fight enough, you might, you know, end up uh, being free or something like that, and then. You know, you'll have more peace than than when you had uh, 24 hours, a couple of days. So, I would go for the for you know fighting. And the final question: What's your favorite food? Um, pizza. 
Next question comes from Mr. Android user 15. He asked me, "Have you ever been to a Grand Prix? Uh, I presume you mean a uh, Formula One Grand Prix." Yes, I have. I went to the uh, Germany Grand Prix um, at the Nurburgring in 2011 uh, when you know they had the the shit sound with the exhaust, uh, the blown diffuser. Um, so I went to that one before. I went a couple of times to Zandvoort, uh, which is quite close. Uh, yeah, it's quite close to me. Uh, a couple of hours, I think, two hours or something like that. So I went to Zandvoort a few times. Um, I have watched some very old F1 cars drive around there, uh, which you can also find on my channel. Um, and uh, what have I? I think I have watched Formula Four over there and a few other things. Uh, so that's where I went. I obviously want to go to more tracks, uh, especially to Spa, which I'll be doing definitely sometime soon, uh, or sometime, you know, in my life. Frederick Elmstrom, uh, Elmstrom, oh wait, this is something like Finnish, uh, Frederike Elmstrom, uh, something like that, sorry, I think I just completely mispronounced that in the, or, yeah, did a wrong pronunciation of that name in the Finnish or Norway, Norway. I don't know where you're coming from. Uh, but anyway, uh, he asked me, could you do a race on both F1 23 and I racing with wheelcam? Now I already have a video uploaded on my channel with F1 2012 where I have like this over the shoulder type cam. Um, um, if you were wondering, if you're wondering, it is the uh, ARL King of the Rain uh, video. Uh, you can watch there uh, so you can see my steering wheel um, Then I have no idea if I really want to do that again with F1 2013 and R racing I think I want to do it, but I don't think just yet uh, uh, As I said before I have a new rig or a new setup coming up quite soon with a new play seat and uh, stuff like that So, you know, maybe in a couple of months time when I have those uh, new stuff or new things um, I would I'll be definitely showing my new setup when I you know have received everything so more news on that. Uh, good question though, and uh, thank you for your final uh, final line. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Then Joe D C Racing asked me, "Is your real name Kimmy?" No, my real name is uh, Jerome, uh, which you know in the, in my country where I live, so the Netherlands. You pronounce it as uh, as Jeroen. Uh, so no, sorry, I'm not Kimmy. Um, please continue being quicker than Alex. Uh, I won't really say I'm quicker than him, but. Yeah, I'll try to. Safi7411 asks me, what is your first racing game ever? Uh, well, Safi, thanks first for your congratulations. Um, and my first racing game ever. I think I already pretty much answered that, that one, uh, which was, um, as far as I can remember, Colin McRae, uh, the dirt, uh, you know, the rally stuff. But I, I don't actually think it was that game, I think it was something else, but <laughs> I just cannot remember, so sorry for that one. Um, but it's definitely sure, uh, it's, yeah, it, it, it's for sure that I started playing racing game when, when I was quite young, so it has to be quite, a, quite you know, an odd game. Saturn185 asks me, first F1 game you ever played, uh, probably F1 Challenge 99, 2002. Um, I do remember there is like another game. F1 twen 2002, 2003, maybe 2001, something like that. There must be a game out there some around that period. Uh, F1 twen 2001 or something like that. I I'm not sure. There, there is a game, something, uh, you know, something around there, something that time, somewhere that time, um, which I have played. But my my first game that I really got into it uh, in terms of F1 was uh, F1 Tra Challenge 99, 2002. And you had also a game for the PS3, I think it was um, F1 2005 or 6, something like that, Championship Edition, that's something I can remember, um, which I played a lot as well, um, but definitely F1 Challenge 99 2002 uh, was the first game which really got my attention um, in terms of Formula 1. Then the same guy asks me as well, you sound like Kimura Raikkonen, and are you Kimura Raikkonen? and I think you are. Uh, well, I think I answered this one already before. I'm not really reckon, and I mean, some people say I sound like him, but to be honest, I don't think I really sound like him. I think it's it's really, yeah, it's just I don't get it why why people say that. I mean, for me, the, the two forces are completely different, but yeah, just a lot of people saying that uh, that is very similar. Um, I'm not reckoning, so don't worry. I mean, I'm only 16 years old, so. Uh, 
nowhere near Raikkonen's age. Um, but yeah, I'm not Raikkonen, sorry. Moving on to the next question, we have Dylan Fehey, uh, if I pronounce that right. Uh, he asked me, who is your favorite F1 driver? Uh, now I know there are a few other people as well who asked this, so um, let's just uh, yeah handle handle it then. Uh, my favorite F1 driver, um, my favorite F1 driver of all time, probably uh, Schumacher. Uh, I have to say. Um, I know some people will uh, right now uh, go crazy and ask me like why not Senna or you know uh, another different main uh, name Fangio. Uh, well, I don't really want to like um, how do how to uh, explain this. I don't really want to say something about them because I never experienced uh, you know their their races. I. I um I was born in 1997 and I started watching F1 in the early 2000s I think or 2002 something around there. So I I don't really want to judge. That's the word. I don't really want to judge on on previous drivers that have been racing uh, since I since before I was born. So I can't really judge judge about that. But for my experience, uh, Schumacher obviously you had Senna who was a great driver. I will not disagree on that. But I just cannot really judge because I haven't seen him really driving uh, on television or something like that. So some people will probably disagree with me uh, because uh, Schumacher is obviously known as a little bit of a cheater sometimes but I don't know I, he seemed to be so dominant and in my opinion he was he was the person who, who really helped Ferrari uh, to get back on the top obviously um, after he came from uh, Benetton I think it was so yeah, you have to respect him, and uh, he was very dominant. Obviously, seven world titles. So, yeah, th th that is my experience right now. I would say Alonso. Um, uh, yeah, but you cannot really compare as well those different generations, those different eras of uh, of F1. I mean, uh, you had turbo uh, turbo engines um, previously, and now they, uh, yeah, now the cars the cars are just different you know lots more uh, downforce aerodynamics and stuff like that so you cannot really compare eras or something like that um, but I think Schumacher is uh, definitely my my favorite F1 driver um, in terms of you know really F1 uh, because I think I would like uh, I would like Kimi as well but you know because uh, because of his personality um, but you know pure F1 I would say Schumacher and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. I grew up with watching him, uh, so yeah, I gotta go for him. Then we have a very very good question from uh, Tom uh, Bryan. Uh, if you could be any of any any driver, past or present, who would you be? It's a very interesting question. Uh, I never really thought about that. Um, I guess it's also quite difficult to to answer, um, thanks to my you know my age. I mean, I haven't really watched uh, F1 for that long. Uh, compared to uh, people who were born much earlier than me, um, but uh, so I think in terms of uh, personality and just the life, I would say Raikkonen. Um, in terms of skills, I would say Alonso. Um, but I have also heard some uh, cool stories about James Hunt, uh, and I went to the film or the movie Rush. Um, I think a lot of people will know that with uh, James Hunt and uh, Nicolota. Um but um, yeah, I, I like James Hunt as well quite a bit. Um, uh, he seemed to be uh, a cool, g cool guy, enjoying life. I think that's you know the way it should be, you know, enjoying your life. Um, um, but no, I think I'm going to go for Kimi because again, I c I cannot really judge on uh, James Hunt uh, because I haven't really watched him at uh, at the time he was racing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Kimi. Then moving on to another very good question, we have Makey Forever two one one two. He asks me, Hi Onage, here's my question: What's your favorite past F1 car? So he means from the start or the beginning of Formula One. 1948 uh, until now uh, or pretty much now uh, 2012 um, so yeah I have seen uh, a lot of F1 cars uh, you know you had also the cars with uh, six wheels um, but uh, my favorite F1 car it's not going to be a car uh, from you know now 
this generation, this era, because I don't like them. I think they are ugly, uh, and that that has been changing from uh, 2009. I think 2009 was really a step backwards in uh, Formula One. I think the cars are much more, yeah, uglier than, uh, yeah. But that that is my op uh, opinion. I know uh, lots of people have different opinion about that, but um, I think it will be a. Maybe a, n a car in the nineties, but I'm not sure. I think the McLaren, uh, the McLarens where Ayrton Senna raced in were always beautiful. Um, I think I've got to go for uh, for the Ferrari uh, from nineteen eighty eight. This might be a little bit of a surprise, uh, but uh, the car it's a car where uh, Gerald Berger won in uh, or raced in, and um, was it was it the Ferrari F one eighty seven? Might be that one as well. Uh, it is the Ferrari F1 87. Sorry, um, it is that one. Um, and I really like the car because, um, especially the back end of the car, when you look at just you know the back end of the car, uh, it looks really good. Uh, this might be a little bit of a surprise because I think a lot of people would uh, would expect me to choose something different. But for some reason, I always like the car, and uh, you can also drive it in uh, in F1, the classic edition. Uh, made by Codemasters, and I just enjoyed driving the car. It also has uh, quite a good sound, but especially the look of the car is uh, something which really impresses me. Um, and I think it's just like a beast. It's not like I think aerodynamics is a little bit for pussies. Uh, <laughs> might sound a little bit weird, but that's the way how you know how I see it. I think a race car should be, you know, not that complex as it is nowadays. So. I like I like the old style of F1 uh, in terms of cars, so I gotta pick that one. I know I have said earlier in this video that I picked the Ferrari of 2004 uh, as my favorite car, but I actually changed my mind uh, really quick um, because I think the Ferrari 2004 was the car that I really experienced and which was basically the fastest car, which was very dominant. But I don't know in terms of really beauty i think i would go for the uh, ferrari 87 so there's that's my choice i should hurry up a little bit because i've been uh, talking for about half an hour right now so let's uh, let's keep going then next question match one two three one thousands he has uh, two questions actually three uh the first one why are you and alex not teammates in aero anymore and why stop the co-op now i think a lot of people will be wondering this and um I, uh, there has been a few stories around that uh, that alex and me are in a very bad relationship and that we hate each other and stuff like that but there's nothing of that that's that's not true trust me i will be uh, honest right now um and uh, the first of all well why are you and alex not teammates uh, in aero anymore um this is basically something which uh, which i already decided last season um probably st the subscribers of Alex will know what I'm talking about uh, because uh, I didn't do any commentaries on my video in last season of ARL uh, season 6 with F1 2012 but at the middle of that season I felt a little bit uncomfortable somehow uh, I felt like Alex was taking too much advantage of me and when you you know when I would ask him something I think he would you know not help me that much as i would do to him so that's that's basically what i felt i don't know if that really was the case but that's just how i felt and i felt he was taking a lot of advantage of me but i didn't care at that time because you know that's why are you are teammates and you should be able to share anything with your teammates so i didn't really care at that time but i definitely yeah i don't know it didn't really seem like getting along that well together um that time from my point of view I mean if you ask Alex I think he will say that, uh, that it was perfect for him but I definitely had uh, a few doubts uh, at that time and then uh, there came the uh, Suzuka race um, where basically Alex he gave me a penalty and I definitely don't think that that is you know worth a teammate I mean a teammate shouldn't really do that if it happened um, if it, if he crashed me, uh, I definitely wouldn't have uh, applied for a penalty. I mean, that's not something you would you do to a teammate. Uh, that's my opinion. It's obviously very easy to say now, out of hindsight. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I mean, uh, I can see why he did it. Um, because he wanted to win a championship very easily. Um, which he did in the end. Uh, but also, my footage of that race... Um, 
it got corrupted so I couldn't really show my point of view because from my point of view the move wasn't really that aggressive there was quite some lag involved uh, with obviously the lag bubble uh, they had in the game so at that point I was like no I'm not going to drive with this guy anymore in the next season um, so that's basically where I, where I already made my decision and then uh, yeah this season we we I pretty much haven't talked about him about uh, being teammate and he didn't either you know talk to me about it so we pretty much you know we didn't really talk to each other and then uh, and then I found my uh, my new teammate who is Shikane uh, he's a he's a good teammate as well I mean I, I really want to help him um, he seemed to be he seemed to be quite quick I think he can learn a lot so I definitely want to help him out a little bit um, and also, I I thought it would have been better if Alex and me were just rivals, and not teammates, because that definitely wasn't going to work anymore. So th that's basically why I know a long story, but you know I had to clear this up because a lot of people were speculating a little bit about it. And then also, why have uh, we stopped the co-op? So a lot of people will know that Alex and me were in a co-op championship with each other with Tor in Toro, so, uh, but um, that basically stopped. Uh, it was a replacement for the league races, but once the league races got you know up, um, we pretty much didn't really you know talk about uh, talk about it with each other. And um, I definitely wanted to st still continue co-op. I still want to do it uh, because I think it's fun. But Alex says he has no time. Uh, but I don't know. I I heard him saying that, but I don't know. I seem I have seen him online uh, a lot of times on Steam. I know he has been playing a little bit of iRacing, racing, so he definitely has some time. That's that's just a lie. Um, but I don't know what he's doing with his private life. But I'm sure he will have some time. And I don't know. I think he is that he isn't really that much bothered anymore with it, which is fair enough. I mean, if he doesn't want to do it, then then it's obviously fine. Uh, but no, I, I I would like to continue with it, but we haven't really talked about it, and then it, you know it slowly died basically. Um, I I will ask him if he uh, if he wanted to continue co-op. I'll do it uh, right now, and I'll let you guys then know uh, what you know what he's saying. Right, so I got a response from Alex. He said basically again that he has no time, and I was a little bit pushing like, uh, come on, you should have a little bit of time at least for one race uh, in a week. But he said no, he has no time. He's working on the channel, uh, which is fair enough. I mean, I don't know his private life, so yeah, I don't know what he is doing with his life. But I cannot really imagine you have basically no time. But I mean, I have to respect that and. Uh, if he has no time, then then that, that's fair enough. Uh, I mean, we have to take it. Uh, I try my best, but sorry, guys, there's there's no time left for him. I uh, asked him uh, if he would let me know when he has some time, and hopefully, hopefully, praying that uh, that we can still then uh, do a co-op because I know you guys like it. I like it as well. Um, but yeah, if he has no time, then I I, I guess it's it's not working. Now your second question, you have been accused of cheating in the past, hence the reason why certain members left ARL. Would you like to defend yourself? I like this one, this is a very, very clever, very, very intelligent quest question. Um, I have indeed uh, have been accused of cheating. Um, I, yeah, a lot of people, uh, past season, they, they said I was too quick and stuff like that, and I had some kind of a grip grip hack and something like that uh, all of that is not true I have showed my uh, my data of the car so the telemetry I've showed everything basically what I've could have done and um, they didn't really find anything suspicious in there so they didn't really have proof that I was cheating uh, but still accused me and I never really you know got it never really got my attention I just said I was the cheater because I know I can trust myself and other people should trust me as well because I'm not a cheater I don't want to win like that I don't think that's how you should win races um, that's that's just not fair not not for me but not for the for for everyone you know everyone is uh, yeah in a disadvantage then which is obviously not good especially for the league and um, not for me because I don't want to win like that you have to you know learn uh, by you know making mistakes and not you know cheating um, would you like to defend yourself well as I said I have shown by telemetry and nothing suspicious about in there and um, there was something um, 
some people said that I knew like a strategy or something like that to get a little bit faster uh, which is a bit true um, I have told this strategy as well to Alex and then Alex picked up uh, his pace a little bit as well uh, thanks to that um, it is indeed true that there is like a little bit of a trick in F1 2012 to get a little bit faster but I only have shared that with Alex and pretty much with no one else so that isn't a cheat I mean it's just in the game it's just a, a trick you have to you have to learn uh, in the game. I mean, I'm quite serious. I always look at the at the telemetry. There is like a little bit of an application you can download from the internet, uh, which you can use for F1 2012 to you know check your braking points and stuff like that. How hard you're braking. So I really check all the all that stuff and try to uh, you know improve myself because that's something really important. Um, and yeah, some people left the RL for that, but to be fair, I didn't didn't care what people said about the cheating because I know it's not true um, and also I actually saw it as a compliment um, as something positive they said I'm cheating because I know for myself that I'm not cheating and then when I hear other oh, when I hear other people saying that I'm cheating it basically means like I'm too fast so that th I took it as a compliment basically uh, and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for your questions uh, I have uh, given a very long answer but yeah just to clear up those things and I hope I did then this question is a little bit similar to the last question Exxon Rexa whoa that's a cool name um, you ask me why did you decline the offer of being Alex Killen's teammate now first of all I don't like really people who are uh, you know telling their own stories which aren't true uh, in this case you are telling your own story because I haven't had an offer of from Alex Killen so please don't say that uh, please don't say those things when you don't know anything about the situation because I never you know had an offer from him uh, it's not you know insulting you but just clearing up that I never had an offer of him or from him so I couldn't really you know decline the offer uh, we never talked about it really and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it we never talked about it so I yeah I didn't decline an offer and he didn't either so that's it I'll try to answer the questions a little bit quicker because we are yeah yeah the episode has been uh, or this video is quite long so far so send you Zuza whoa okay cool name you have if you were to be given an opportunity to race in a real F1 car purely looking at your pace and the use of cockpit camera would you take it uh, yes uh, why not I mean uh, if I have the chance to race an F1 car, sure, why not? But uh, yeah, don't expect me to be really quick or anything. I mean, the guys in the F1, they are much quicker than me, no doubt about it. I mean, even uh, even Kartikian is quicker than me, uh, who was uh, always in last position uh, in the days when uh, HRT still existed. So, no, I, I don't expect me to then be up uh, at, the, at the, you know, at the F1 pace, uh, if you know, would like to... Uh, called like that um, so but obviously I would take the opportunity uh, I would like it and uh, I would ex uh, yeah actually really love it to uh, drive in it I would be yeah yeah just really happy mr. ara 818 asks me how old are you I'm 16 years old silver 21 what are your spe uh, PC specs I'll you know put them in the description so you can uh, watch that for yourself then roar 87 his question is have you got any advices for a new player uh, to or yeah any advices for a new player of uh for f1 2013 um uh, well i don't really have an advice but just practice um that's basically it take nice lines start off slowly uh, don't expect to you know be quick right from the start because that's just not going to work take your time uh, to get comfortable with the car with the track learn the track r learn the um the the you know the racing line the best line through every corner try everything try uh, you know checking your own uh, telemetry your own data coming from the car um, and uh, that's basically it and practice a lot that's that's basically what you got to do try to get on the throttle as early as you can and maximize your your traction out of the every single corner very important another good question coming from uh, RRMC uh, he asked me what is your favorite sport and if it is F1 what is your second favorite sport obviously my favorite sport is F1 although I'm not sure right now because I I don't like F1 uh, where it's heading as I said before in this video the direction of F1 I don't like it so I'm not sure if, if F1 will be my favorite sport as well next year uh, it could well you know jump down to a uh, third place or something like that but right now it is still my uh, my still 
my you know favorite sport uh, second is uh, football soccer however you want to call it um, I always watch uh, soccer for my favorite uh, for my favorite football club uh, it's called Feyenoord uh, it's in uh, it's in the Netherlands and I sometimes uh, visit it it uh, visit it as well um, it's a nice stadium a uh, stadium has a very very good support from the supporters and it's just very good uh, you know to be there and uh, watch them playing then there is a dude, I think he's coming from Russia or something like that, he's called, uh, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, which I probably will, Alam Boshnakovich. Uh, that was probably very wrong, uh, sorry about that, but yeah, can't really do anything about it. Any thoughts on Assetto Corsa? A uh, good question. Uh, Assetto Corsa, I've been up uploading a l few videos of that on my channel, and um, any thoughts? Well, it's great. That's it, basically. It's great. It's the best sim I have ever played. It's so much fun. It has great graphics and, you know, thinking that it's right now in the beta version and it's going to be better and better and better. It's, it's, you cannot even think about it. Uh, you know, you cannot really think about improvements for the game. It's already that good and it's right now in the, in the beta version. So, early I said, of course, it has been incredible. It, uh, it, it, the first meter I drove in a car was uh, it already you know got my attention and uh, impressed me. How old were you when you got into F1 and racing games? Is what Mo McKay asks me. Uh, well, I think F1, you know, watching it on television. I think around at the age of uh, five, but I didn't really watch a whole season or, or something like that. I think I started a whole season uh, uh, watching it about 2005 or 2006. Um, so that's you know where I grew grew up with uh, watching Schumacher win um, at that time, and um, yeah, that's really when I started you know watching it, and I didn't really understand anything about it, but I just you know like like uh, the racing and seeing cars driving, and then the racing games. Uh, I don't know, should be around uh, that age as well, about uh, six years old, seven maybe, because I wanted to play some some games myself. You know, I I started out having a steering wheel when I was quite young, so. Yeah, I got I got used to driving with uh, with a steering wheel when I was when I was quite young behind the uh, behind PC with old uh, games. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Moving on to the next question, it is Riot Fan one hundred. Uh, he asked me, "How are you on only seven hundred subs? Um, who do you think won the two thousand fourteen? What is your favorite race and why? What crash retirement did you most enjoy watching in F one history? Few interesting questions. I hope to uh, get quickly through them. Uh, how am I only at seven hundred subs? Well, because I have not more than seven hundred. Who do you think won the two thousand and fourteen season? Alonso. What is your favorite race and why? Very good question. I have to think about this actually. Um, Abu Dhabi, twenty ten was quite quite good uh, not for me as a uh, Ferrari fan but it was quite you know quite exciting uh, their best race ever there was one race in Silverstone which was very very wet and uh, Felipe Massa spun there like eight times or something like that actually a lot of times but I don't really have a race which points out for me to be honest we had uh, the Brazilian Grand Prix in 2008 so maybe it is that one um, but we had also the final race of Schumacher with Ferrari I cannot really point my finger on a race which was which was that exciting but um, I think the most r the, or the race that is you know in my memory still is uh, Valencia 2012 with Alonso I mean I'm a Ferrari fan so that's why I picked that one uh, because yeah, it is just still in my mind. It is. Uh, it happened quite recently uh, compared to you know other Grand Prix who uh, were taking place in 2005, uh, six, seven. So that's the one I remember the most, uh, where Alonso you know had to start from 11 or 12, something like that. Still finished in third place or uh, first, sorry. And his emotions at that time were really great. I uh, great. I love to see that. Um, I, I, you know, I really felt like he deserved that. I mean, he needed something like that, uh, and that's that's why I liked that race. Al also, we had Schumacher on the podium, and I think we had Raikkonen as well. So an interesting podium in that race as well. And because Vettel retired from uh, from the race, and I don't really like Vettel. Sorry, but I don't. I just don't really like him. Um, not his personality or something, but you know, he just his his driving in uh, in F1, just his driver side, uh, basically. 
um, because I don't know him in person, so I cannot really judge him as a personality. He seems to be quite a good guy, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like his uh, his racing side. Then your final question is one of the best questions I have ever heard. <laughs> what crash or retirement did you most enjoy watching in F1 history? Mm. Yes, I know. I know it. Uh, Vettel and Weber, Turkey 2010, when they collided together and uh, Vettel had to retire and gave uh, Weber the finger or something like that. Or at least he, he, he was a little bit pointing like at Weber, saying like you're an idiot, something like that. So yeah I, I i enjoyed it actually i had to laugh a little bit but you know these things happen even with teammates so <coughs> but that is the thing that that i really remember good uh remember well i should say um and also there is another one but i cannot really remember it completely but yeah we had we had also the brazilian grand prix 2012 when uh, Vettel crashed in the first lap but didn't really damage his car that bad he s still could continue but that was uh, that was a moment when i was r literally jumping in front of my tv and uh, you know screaming go go alonso go alonso uh, but unfortunately for me Vettel didn't uh, retire he had a great great drive uh, from the back and uh, he, uh, at the end he managed to you know win that championship but yeah, I think um, I think Vettel versus Weber is the one that stands out the most for me. Tarum Sefi, uh, sorry, pr probably pronounced that wrong. If you could meet uh, one F1 driver in real life, who would it be? Very good question. And also, what are my predictions for the upcoming F1 season? If I could meet an F1 driver, it would be Raikkonen uh, because uh, I think I would just like to hang out with him or something like that. You know, get to know him a little bit more. I think he would be a very good friend where you can laugh with, where you can have fun with. So I think Raikkonen uh, on the personality side, but really on F1 side, I would like to meet um, Alonso simply because he is right now my hero. Uh, basically, uh, I, I love a lot of things that he's doing. Uh, right now, in my opinion, he's the best driver on the grid, maximizing almost every race, uh, maximizing the performance of the car. That's really what I like to see. And I would like to, you know, have a little bit of a chat with him and, uh, you know, say like, uh, what's up? How do you do this? How do you do that? Why are you such a, uh, you know, talented driver? Um, what what do you do in preparation for a race? Uh, how do you experience your moments in the car when overtaking another car or something like that? You know, walk through him, um, through the, uh, you know, F1 race a little bit and see, you know, what he has to say and his perspective from it. Um, so... I would go for uh, Alonso if it is purely based on F1, but I would go with uh, Raikkonen if it's on the personality side. My predictions for the upcoming F1 season, I think it will be a very uh, shit season, uh, s a step backwards for F1. And yeah, I don't know, I'm not really looking forward to it. Another difficult name, Doll Bear, something like that. I would like to ask you how long you play racing games and is it true that you don't have driving a driving license? It is true that I don't have a driving license. Uh, I mean, I'm 16 years old and I should get a driving license within like two or one year. Uh, two years or one year. Um, but I definitely don't have one yet. Um, but yeah, I don't care about that. I mean, I think it's, it's good on one side and bad on one side. Uh, but... I don't think it really makes a big difference, um, you know, in in the in the in the world of you know sim racing or racing games. So I'm not really worried about that. I mean, it it could be an advantage, could be a disadvantage, but I don't think it really matters that much. Uh, so how long do I play racing games? I pretty much asked that already before at the age of uh, six, or something around there, and I started off with uh, Colin McRae, I think, and uh, then got into F1, like the very old games. And then I started to play F1 seriously with F1 Challenge 9902 uh, in the uh, with a with a steering wheel as well. I'm very sorry, but I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. Uh, uh, so let's just jump straight into your questions. Do you have any plans on focusing on a specific iRacing series? Definitely, I uh, definitely want to drive the Star Mazda, uh, which will be really fun. Uh, but I just don't have the money right now. I'm uh, saving some money for my uh, new setup, which is coming soon. I still have to pay the monitors and a new uh, video card, uh, so that's going to cost me a little bit of money. And I have no money, you know. Too much. I don't have mon too much money. Uh, that's the word. Uh, I don't have too much money. So if I had too much money, I would spend it on iRacing. But 
not now, uh, sorry, ba maybe later on. Also, my iRacing subscription is ending very soon, and I'm not planning right now on the extending that subscription. Have you thought about racing in the iRacing Grand Prix series? Um, yes, obviously. Uh, that will be um, a, a an honor to race there. It will be a lot of fun, but obviously I think about it, but it's too far, you know, right now to really, you know, start focusing on that or anything. I mean, firstly, Star Master and then later on that uh will you do any richard burns rally videos no it's the first time i ever heard of that so no sorry are you excited about the assetto course and evergreen north live announcement it was definitely one of the best sim racing announcements of all time for me uh, of course i'm excited for that i mean assetto course is great as i have uh, mentioned a few times and also the north life is uh, is a very very long track obviously but also you know great great track lots of history and um I imagine it will be very dis difficult to master, especially in a in a great sim, as you describe it yourself as well as uh, a set of Corsa. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Then next question, little power bit. He asks me. Uh, I know you and Alex have seemed to drift it apart, but what is the main reason? Um, again, pretty much answered that one already in this video, but. I would say the main reason for that was the uh, 2012 season with ARL. Um, so definitely, th there's basically nothing that has happened between us uh, between the uh, last season, season six, and this season, season seven. So no, th pretty much nothing has happened between us. So pretty much my decision was already made uh, in the uh, season six season uh, season six. Uh, that's the word um, with ARL. So. That's that's basically the main reason. Next question, Burnout 060. Uh, how did you get into racing? Um, uh, good question. I think it was basically from my father. I mean, he watched uh, Formula One on television most of the time. So I really have to, you know, thank that to my father. And um, I don't know. I, my uncle as well. He likes uh, watching F1, but also uh, rally. Um, so I guess it's a little bit of a family, but not too much because basically when I saw cars uh, racing on television, I I thought it was cool and I wanted to do it, you know, myself by you know playing a game or something like that. So um, pretty much my own, you know, decision, uh, if you could, you know, call it like that or say it like that, uh, to then play games. Um, because uh, I just simply thought it was cool. So yes, it's a little bit in the family, but also you know playing like really games and stuff like that. I think I'm the only person who is so much obsessed with uh, F1 and stuff. So I think partly or a part is my family, and a part, a uh, big part is then I think me. Uh, what kind of racing have you done in real life? Now I have done some karting, um, and I think that's pretty much it. To be uh, to be fair. Um, I have to think about it. Um, yeah, racing myself, karting. Um, uh, if you had to compare your driving style to a real F1 driver, what would you say is closest? This is a very good question, but also very, very hard to answer. Um, I have heard some people saying uh, that I, I'm driving a little bit like Alonso because Alonso has like a driving style, especially in the wet, where he goes a little bit deep into the corner, keeps his steering wheel straight, and then suddenly he turns in very, very aggressive. Um, so I've heard some people saying that, but I think that was more like with uh, Formula 1 2012. Um, but uh, nowadays, I think my driving style definitely is quite aggressive, so it's definitely not someone like uh, Jens Button who's very smooth and stuff like that. I also like to, you know, get very early on the throttle and then generate some oversteer. Um, so it's very aggressive driving style. Um, I think Alonso is quite aggressive, but I don't really think like it comes really that close. Uh, Hamilton is aggressive, so maybe it is Hamilton. Um, cannot really s find a different person. Uh, or different or another driver uh, who comes close to the to my driving style in my opinion um, I think Hamilton actually comes most close um, yeah maybe or maybe it is Alonso indeed maybe it is uh, Alonso when he was uh, driving in his Renault um, in 2005 and 6 and stuff like that because um, that that does seem a little bit like my driving style. So I would say the old Alonso because Alonso is quite 
uh, it's changed quite a bit, I think, in uh, terms of driving style. Um, maybe it is the old Alonso, so I'm, I think I'm gonna, going to go with that. But right now, uh, I would say uh, Hamilton. Um, so there you go. Then you have another question which I didn't really uh, see, but I now I see, and now I see it. Uh, do you plan to be a racer driver? Uh, do you be, do you plan to be a racer in real life someday? There we go. Um, yes, definitely. I mean, uh, I would definitely like to. Um, I mean, I have some people saying that uh, why would you, you know, want to be a racing driver? I mean, it could be quite dangerous, but you know, you don't. I don't really look at the danger or something like that. I mean. Uh, you know every work has danger maybe i mean maybe when you drive to work you can uh, die in an accident or something so no but th that's nothing you know where you really have to fear for um but yeah if i, I would definitely like to uh, be a racing driver but i presume i would have uh, i need to start you know i, I needed to start karting very uh, very soon or am i um I should have started carding already. That's that's it, um, because yeah, you basically have to start carding when you're when you're ten uh, to you know grow and um, and get you know really noticed in the in the racing world. But yeah, I would like to, but I don't think it's going to happen. It will be a dream. Uh, but yeah, you have to work for your dreams and stuff like that. But you have to be realistic as well. And I don't think that uh, that's possible right now in the position where where I am. I mean, I don't even have a li uh, driving license, and I'm not a professional carder either. So uh, yeah, pretty much can give up on that dream. But yeah, you never know. Okay, Clayton David, he asks me, um, do you think in your game level the camera that you use affect your lap time? Uh, I've noticed that people don't like onboard camera, they prefer the other. Um, yeah, um, this is actually a good question. I mean, I'm obviously driving with cockpit view, so uh, a lot of people are driving with TV cam, stuff like that. Um, well, I basically switched to cockpit cam uh, quite quite uh, a long time ago I started playing with the cockpit then I switched to the T cam because I found that easier and then I switched back to the cockpit again now the switch between the TV cam and the uh, the cockpit was quite difficult actually um, uh, the first uh, couple of uh, you know races and stuff like that I I didn't really feel like uh, up to pace um, I I think I lost about four times every lap uh, compared to my T cam laps uh, be only because of uh, cockpit driving. Now I haven't really noticed like a difference in the in the like last year. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I did feel like there was a difference between cockpit cam and T cam uh, in Monaco uh, this ARL season. And I actually said to Alex uh, as well that I thought you would get an advantage by running TCAM because you can see the apexes um, much better and you, you just have a general better idea of where you are and where you're going. Um, so I don't really think there's that much of a difference. I mean, I I never I will never try TCAM again. Uh, I like cockpit cam uh, with every game, not only with F1, uh, it's with every game. Uh, I think the cockpit cam is just, you know, the place where you should be in. and. Uh, Otherwise, you you'll be like sitting on top of the car, uh, and I don't really think that there are people, um, you know, in real life you don't see people sitting on the on the car either. So, no, cockpit cam will will be always my friend, <laughs> my buddy, and um, I will just you know stick with that. I don't know if I still have like that uh, free tense disadvantage. Um, which I had before, but I don't think I I have, so it should be good. I I still do think that TCAM is actually a little bit faster in some situations, but I'm I'm pretty much used to the to the uh, cockpit cam right now. Then we have another question about the cockpit view. We have the normal gaming. You ask why you do why do you use cockpit view and how are you so fast? Uh, well, first of all, why do I use cockpit view? I think it's just the way you should play it if you really want the experience. You know the full uh, full realist realism that's it the full realism i think you should you know stay in the cockpit um and um it it just is it's not only more realistic but i think that you should really have a goal with it and it takes some time to get to get used to it but um i don't know i don't you you don't see people in the real f1 sitting on their cars either and that's pretty much what what you're doing when you're driving with tcam so it's not really like I think that TCAM users are noobs or something like that, <laughs> but I do think that 
driving in cockpit view requ well, requ requires that's it uh, requires uh, more skill um, a bit more skill um, compared to a T-cam um, that's not I, I'm not saying that because I am driving it uh, but that's just my general impression um, so that's your first question and then your second one how is so fast well I just uh, push at, at the maximum also my wheel settings will be in the description with my PC specs as well uh, Oscar Pink who is your favorite racing driver who isn't in F1? Good question. Um, now there are some people in GP2 obviously who are doing quite well. Um, but there is actually a guy, uh, he is the the, the son of uh, Jos Verstappen. Uh, Jos Verstappen, uh, pronounced in, uh, in, in Dutch but I'll pronounce it in English as best as I can. Uh, Jos Verstappen. And um, it's his son, he is called uh, Max, uh, Max Verstappen. Um, He's actually doing very well right now uh, in karting. He is still quite young, and I actually uh, thought, uh, if I'm right, he had like a Formula Three test. Um, at least it's somewhere in that direction. Uh, uh, and he, his first day ever in that car, and he set a uh, fastest uh, track time um, of that, you know, that series. So that that shows that you have really incredible talent. I hope to see him later in F1. I think he can do it actually. He has won so many things already, and um, I really hope to see him in uh, in F1. So that's that's right now my favorite driver who wins in F1, uh, and I think you all heard uh, more about him because he is very very quick and uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, finally that were all the questions I have answered or that I you know had. Um, I I I know it took quite a while I mean we are over one hour I'm very sorry for that but I didn't want to disappoint anyone really uh, I just wanted to give my honest opinion and um, a a good answer to all of your questions and uh, don't let anyone down um, apart from uh, Alex Killen who obviously had a very uh, very interesting question um, so <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys for watching I don't know if you have really um, watched the whole video it's one hour it's very long uh, maybe a bit too long. I apologize for it. Um, I'm very sorry, but I just wanted to uh, to answer the questions uh, as best as I could. I hope I have done that. Uh, I'm very sorry if you didn't get involved in this video. Um, maybe I forgot you. I, I, I should have everyone in there. If I forgot you, please let me know in the comment section of this video. And then I'll answer your question in the, in the comment section itself. Um, but yeah, again, very sorry if I forgot you. But you should be in there because I have checked it. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this q and I know it has been very long. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like. Uh, thank you very much for your questions. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for <laughs> 700 subs. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, goodbye.